Hey friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Ken Smith. Really excited to bring to you the ye old doodlebug segment. So Steve built this and I got to see this at the Model A Days 2023 event over at the Gilmore Car Museum. Now, if you don't know what a doodlebug is, I'll give you a brief history uh, on what a doodlebug actually was back in the day. So a doodlebug was created basically by farmers during the Great Depression and during the Dust Bowl era. Now, doodle bugs were a cheap form of getting a Model T or a Model A and converting it into farm use equipment. Most of the time, it was a tractor of some sort. And that went all the way into World War II because, as you know, uh, auto manufacturers switched gears and they were making military equipment for the war effort. I think you're really going to enjoy this video, so let's get at it. So, Gene, I just walked by your vehicle. I saw ye old doodle bug. This is actually the first doodle bug that I've seen in person. And I'm assuming you built this, so tell me about yep. your car. Well, it's a 1928 Model A Double A doodle bug. And, uh, we found it up in the UP in Michigan, uh, by Sidna, out in the woods with trees growing through it. Okay. And the deer hunters used it for tar pra target practice. Okay. And so, what we did was took the engine and had it rebuilt. Right. It got the Babbitt bearings in it and stuff. Uh huh. Um, took a 29 as a parts car and put the hood and stuff on it. Right. My wife come along and. Love the quail and the stainless steel stone guard. Right. Originally, it was going to be basically kind of just a, a trash vehicle like right. doodle bugs were. But yeah. when she did that, I decided I had to spiff it up. Uh huh. So we powder coated everything. Okay. Gentlemen in, in Ionia uh, rebuilt the engine transmission, found brake lining for it out in Nebraska. Um, the wheels were all rotted away, the outer rims. Right. So we took and there's 22 rivets in there. We unriveted them. And then a buddy of mine had a 1965 GMC fire truck that he bought in Georgia. Okay. But he couldn't use the tires and rims because they wouldn't handle today's weight and speed. Sure. Perfect for a doodle. Absolutely. Bug. So I we pressed them in. My brother helped me, and we pressed them on. Okay. It took us 13 months, and we completely restored it. No way. 13, 13 months. We worked three to four days a week on okay. it, and uh, our goal was to have it ready for the mend and dust off back in 2012. And okay. We made it. <laughs> All right. So how long have you had this then? Since well, we got it in 2012. We made the 2013 right. uh, dust off. Okay, all right. So can we take a look at the uh, the interior? Yeah. So one of the things I noticed about this was it's very a very unique yes, steering wheel. It's, it's, but, it, but I'll get to that in a second. Okay. I noticed two seats, two yeah. bench seats. So Originally, tell me about that. we had a trunk on the back. Okay. And, um, but we decided now we pretty much use it for parades and things. Right. And a lot of our friends would like to ride along. Sure. So last winter I had the Amishman that built the front one build me the second one. Okay. Down Shipshawana. Yeah, Indiana. there's a there's a few Amish people there. Yeah, well I, yeah. I'm a Yoder. Okay. So so we built that and had the second seat put on and it's just fun to go through the parades and shows and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then and I, I bet people just one of the Just other freak when they oh, see they it. do. Yeah. One of the unique things here is this is called a Fat Man steering wheel. Okay. This is a 1922. I'm going to come around your other side. Yeah. 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 Okay. And what you do, to, because the seats are normally closer than this, I, oh I moved it goodness. back. Oh my goodness! It was an original tilt steering wheel <laughs> they had back in the 20s. Oh my goodness! And they made them up in Detroit. Oh my goodness! And this is called a Fat Man's. Well, steering wheel. that was what well, they called. Well, I mean, I'm a, this is a Fat Man interviewing you, so you know <laughs> when you put that in, you know when you get in there, right? It, it was in the way, but oh, that that's way they way could get cool. in and out. Yeah, no, that is incredible. And it's got a mechanical uh -huh. over under drive. That's what these two yellow U bars are here. Okay. Yeah. You couldn't get it 
from Ford, but you could buy it through the Ford dealership. Okay. And that way, the 28 only had the three speed and not the four speed with creeper gear. Right. So you could put the over under drive, which gave it extra crawler space. Sure. Then, back here, what they did with this up there in Sidnaw, this old wheel and iron back here, right. and the hooks, these were from them. They would skid the logs from the woods up to the sawmills up right. there. And they would use these because they were faster than horses, and they were high enough off the ground they had clearance. Okay, all right, so used in logging. Yeah, this yeah. was used in logging. So kind of a, kind of a log skidder. It was a log skidder. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what they did. Sure. And uh, it survived, fortunately, because they just abandoned it up in the woods. And that's where we found it. Uh -huh. Trees were growing up through it and stuff. I oh, mean, my goodness. It was, they used it for deer hunters for target practice. Yeah. And oh, my. And it was a mess. <laughs> but, yeah. So it looks like you've got a little bit of storage underneath here. Yeah, what I did was I wanted the seat high enough so that they could see above the two our front passengers yeah, yep. so i built myself a little cabinet raised it up okay. mounted the second seat on it and it gives me a little storage area for chairs and things and, yeah and uh but yeah it's it's fun it goes about 35 miles an hour and, yeah that's plenty fast and it's titled we title it so we can run right down the road oh, fun. with it and stuff and we enjoy it. If we want to go to lunch one day, we live out in the country, so we'll drive yeah, like sure. four miles to town. Yeah. yeah. But we have a hoot with it. Oh, this just looks like an incredible automobile. I mean, it it does look like a lot of fun. And of course, the uh, you've still got the old original. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All you need is a siren now. <laughs> or, or a wolf like whistle. I need a wolf whistle. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Gene, thank you so much. You I really can. appreciate it. Friends, I really hope you enjoyed that. I know I sure did. Seeing a doodle bug that seats four was actually quite cool. So, hey, remember to give us a like and subscribe. Super important to us. But more than anything else, be blessed.